and racing away from that 1400 meter marker and the sextet got away well. All of them had an equal beginning over there with Lucy in the sky down the inside and on the outside eternal life going quickly and eternal life picks up the advantage in the first 200 meters. Skates clear actually, lead it by four lengths from Peyton's Tears and High Roller. Lucy in the sky has dropped to fourth. With that is Avo on toast and What a Honey is the back marker. Six, seven lengths cover them in eternal life has a plane to catch. She's gone clear at the 800 meter marker. She led it by three lengths from in second High Roller. Third is Peyton's Tears. What a honey, the white sleeves and cap moved up into fourth with Avo on toast and Lucy in the sky. The black cap is at the back end. Still this seven lengths off the leader as they head down past the three furlong mark and out in front is Eternal Life by two and a half lengths here from High Roller in second, Peyton's Tears. What a honey. Lucy in the sky gets a move along, races five lengths off the leader now and Avo on toast is on the stand side. It's about to change with 300 meters left to go and down the inside High Roller with Peyton's Tears on the outside. What a honey. Lucy in the sky still got two and a half lengths to make up. Avo on toast in trouble on the outside. 150 left to go. Peyton's Tears on the outside is What a Honey. These are the two. Peyton's Tears and What a Honey. Lucy in the sky. The rider's dropped his reins late. It's going to get close at the line. Very close between Peyton's Tears and What a Honey and Lucy in the sky. The stand side third. So as the race changed quickly with 200 metres left to go, Eternal Life goes out the back door and the Hudalakas pair quickly take it up. It's Peyton's Tears and What a Honey. A big weight differential between them. But the bottom weight pulls it off today for Cabello Matsignani in the colours of Peyton's Tears. Gets it right for a long time here. 950 days. Beats some water, honey. Lucy in the sky, a running on third in race number six. Well, as Nico was telling you, it was somewhere between 900 and 1,000 days before this filly got back into the winner's enclosure. And guess what the jock says? You only had to put the winning Hollywood Bets July jockey on top, Cabello Mazzignani. Well done, sir. A very hard-fought win, but I thought she showed a bit of courage. Yes, um, I think it was a definitely a long overdue race for him. And um, it, she deserves the win. I mean, she's had a lot of tries and she's run behind some good horses in the past and I'm glad that today she got it right. Very versatile as well because she's run over a whole myriad of distant, distant, different distances. I think she's won six races now. Yes, um, she is a six-time winner and um, yeah, she's a very versatile horse. I mean, if you look at the race today, there's, the, the pace was honest and she ended up being a little bit closer than I expected her to be. But um, I just had to ride a co confident and patient from where I was and try and hit the front. Um, she did everything right today. I mean, if there was any race that she could win, it was today, and I'm glad that she, she produced. Yeah, well, look, at the end of the day, I think she received a whopping something like eight or nine kilograms from her stable companion, let's be fair. Yes, even the weight advantage does a big help for, for, to get weight from other horses. And, I mean, you, you, take, you take them as they come, and you, can, you can't um, complain for, for winning a race. It doesn't matter the conditions. We're just glad that she's breaking the winner's um, co um, box, and hopefully she gains confidence from here. Just before you leave us, um, just give us your, your thoughts on Saturday's big race, the Betway Summer Cup, because we know that your horse is better than that. Yes. Um, you know, in that race, it was, it was a bit of a rough race. The pace came back, back to us a little bit, and... I think uh, I got cut into behind, or I, I did feel that I was getting bumped from behind. And he was pulling a lot. Yes. Um, look, I would have gotten more comfortable if the pace was honest, but obviously when the pace came back to me, I had to also restrain a little bit harder than I would usually. And I mean, he got eventually to, to settle, but I got under pressure very early. It's about the 8.50, 800, I was already coming off the pit, and I knew I was, uh, I was in trouble from there. But also you have to consider that um, it's a, it was a second run after a break. So, you know, the second run, it's either they, they uh, improve from it or it can be a flat run. So, I mean, we we'll just have to go back and see how he pulled up and go back to the drawing board. But definitely is better than that. And I wouldn't write him off in the future. Fantastic, Cabela. Good job. Well done. Thank you very much. And once again to the, to the team, well done to them. Well done for the winner. And to my sponsors and inform, big thanks to them. Terrific. Lucky Hudalakis. Well... A lovely day at the office, uh, particularly when you're in first and second in a filly that hasn't won for so long. 
eventually they got the merit rating right. Yeah, I don't know about the merit rating. I mean, she's frustrating. Uh, as I told you yesterday, I mean, she's run against some a lot better than this, and all she would do is run second. Like you said, it's taken you know, what 900 or between a thousand days, and yeah, you know, half of those um, Mary had her, and I could see Mary was getting the needle to her. So yeah, I thought, let me ask Mary before you do anything, please. Uh, let, me, let me rather lease her from you. Don't jump. And, yeah, so Mary just said, no, nah, she's yours, you can have her. And so a big thank you to Mary for giving her to me. And, yeah, so all those play like I told you, I, you know, that Philly Water Honey, you had to ignore her last two starts. And um, I thought she was, like, the right one. And um, this one, Peyton Steers, is, uh, like, nobody knows what she's going to give you on the day. So, yeah, for a change, she fought on and put her head down. Every time she gets there to win, and she, like, just stops running. So... Yeah, I'm just I'm just glad she pulled it off for us. Well done to my team at home. Yeah, well, at least at least um, with what Ani got beat, at least he got beat by the stable. stable yeah. But also honest run, 61 on the back. It, it 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 was a good run, and yeah, I couldn't be happier. And like, even Peyton's tears. I mean, she actually wasn't even in this race. Uh, when I saw a small field, I just I just thought, oh, you know what? She, let me just, I've got nowhere to go with her, so let me just put her in. And yeah, it's amazing how things work out. Well, here's a thought for you. I don't know if you're into breeding, but how about a filly or a colt that you train in, in the years to come by dice out of Peyton's tears? Yeah, I, there's, a like th there's a thought, yeah. Well, if they don't allow me, I've got them both here. I'll just put them in the paddock and <laughs> do my own thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, anyway, um, yeah, just well done to my whole team. That's all I can say. Let that bank balcony upstairs rock. Yeah, no, it's too hot for, for action. I'm, I'm just, we're just doing our job and going home. Fantastic. Lucky Hudlakis and his family are the owners of this filly, Peyton, Peyton's Tears, formerly owned by Mary Slack with a beautiful pedigree, something that you can really look forward to breeding with in the future. She's now a five-time winner.